Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift programming logic tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a menu using um, table views. So, uh, table view menu. And I'm going to be using the group table view style since that's the most commonly used one. And um, so, you'd use the normal table view style when you're trying to do a list, and you would use the group table view style when you want to create a menu. So it's going to be a simple menu, it's just going to have, um, we'll just, we could say, yeah, let's say two text fields. Uh, so we'll just uh, give this table view some constraints. Uh, I kind of want this to fill the whole screen. Uh, so I'll just make this super view, make that zero. Uh, why is that still? Oh. Uh, Uh, okay, that's probably just a glitch, and then I'll change this to super view as well. Okay, and now I'll just create a quick outlet for this. Uh, table view. All right, so the way we get it to be a group table view is what we do is we just go to style, change to group, and insert group is usually just for. Um, just for iPads with large screens since it's just uh, curved edges. I can show you guys once we create our menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two prototype sales and then I'm also going to create two new files over here and uh, I don't want a Swift file, I want a touch class and it's going to be UI table view cell Okay, and now we're going to have two cells, so it's going to be, uh, we'll have name and we'll have password. So this one can be name cell, and we'll join that and create a new file. This can be, uh, we'll have it password cell. And both of these are UI table view cells, so they have the initialization code and then I don't actually know what this is, but I know that you have to use it for when you're actually working in the cell. So I don't think I'm going to be using that for today. Both of these cells will have a text field and if you use tags, you can just make it so you only need one, but just for simplicity, I'm going to be adding two. So this text field won't have a border and uh, I'm just going to make this table view cell a bit bigger because it's getting really small. 44. Let's add another text field to this one. And give it some constraints. Uh, I want it to have a weird that. And 44. Alright, so now what I can do is I can start creating this. So, oh, before we do that, I need to. Uh, link up the cells. So what I'll have is this table view cell, the top one, this will be the name cell, and this one will be the password cell. So now I can link up my text field, and oh, I don't want that there. I want to go to the name cell, I can link up this text field. Uh, I'll name it name text field, just so it's even easier to see. So name text field, password cell, uh, go to the password cell, and we'll just drag that along. Password text field. All right, so now we have our two uh, cells. They both have a uh, name and the password text field. So now I can start configuring this table view. So the first thing we want to do is give it the data source and delegate view dot delegate equals self table view dot data source equals self oh. create the extension view controller UI table view delegate UI table view data source. Now we can just wait for the uh, protocol subs and I'm also going to add a new protocol sub going to have number of sections and we're going to have two sections and now I can do number of rows in section and usually you would use an if statement but since we're going to have one row in each one we can just do return one and now I can do instead of using uh, uh, if 
uh, index path dot row, we can use if index path dot section. And if you have more than one row in a section, then you're going to have to do a second if statement inside of this. But we don't, so it's fine. Uh, so this is our name cell, and then we can just put an else statement. And uh, this is our password cell. Alright, so now uh, what we can do is we can just return these. So we're going to create a cell equals uh, table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier. Oh, we forgot to create identifiers for the cells. How could I forget that? Okay, so name cell, this has an identifier name cell, and the password cell has an identifier password cell. Oh, one more thing. We're going to have to create a new function. Return oh, height for uh, 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 I forgot what this was called. Oh no, that's not how it was. All right, we don't need to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's sell, and this is our name cell index path index path as name cell and we can return this cell and I'll just copy and paste this this is our password cell as password cell so now I'm gonna run this and we aren't done yet because we also need to get our data from the cells but this is just gonna show you how it looks um, yeah Alright, so uh, why are these so short? Uh, oh, we're also going to have to add a small indent into that. So yeah, we can see some bugs. Uh, that was what I was trying to do. I was trying to add height. I don't know if it's like height equals uh, constraint. No, you can't do... No, I don't know how you uh, do that. Uh, hang on. Uh, height. Okay, I need to create a new function. Uh, height for row at. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Now I can just return 44 for that. If I run this again. Alright, there we go. And finally, we have to add a. Uh, we have to add a button. Uh, where can I add our button? I'll just add it in later. Uh, so. Our trailing, we want both of these to be 20, uh, edit 20, and now we want this 20, 20. And I'm also going to change this table views uh, thing. I'm going to make this, uh, we'll make this 300 from the bottom so I can have a button actually we don't even need a button I can just put a button on top of it so yeah this is what it looks like now so we have our two input uh, areas oh I'm also going to change this table views background uh, to a group background color and yeah so oh one more thing we have forgot to add the section names uh, func name uh, the title for header and section if section equals zero return name we could also do this placeholders but it's just I like doing it like this uh, we can return password All right and that's our UI done now what we can do is we can actually add a button which will retrieve the data from these and then we can just print it over here. So what I'll do is create a button, button and oh, I don't want this to be a cell. Okay so I did need to actually uh, give change a few of these constraints. So I just make this 300 and I put the button underneath it. Uh, here, give it vertically in container oh that was the wrong one wasn't it horizontally in container I always get confused 
and then I can just do 50 underneath the table view. We'll call this button retrieve data. Did I spell that right? I don't even know. Uh, I think I did. Okay, so now I can do add an action here. Retrieve. Uh, let me just see. Uh, did I spell this? Retrieve. All right. Right there we go. Finally. So uh, let me just see if I spot that. Okay. Add an action here. Uh, retrieve button. Click. Now I can actually start uh, again the table cells and then just get in the data. So I'll create the name cell, which is let name cell equals table view dot cell for row at index path. Uh, row so it's row zero section zero as name cell and this is exactly the same except it's going to be password cell as password cell and now we can just get the data so we can print name cell dot uh, name text field dot text and we can print password cell dot password text field uh, oh my god okay password text field dot text and yeah sorry that took too long but uh, so I just type something here and there and oh how do I get down oh that was done uh, okay one thing you can do to fix that is if you just click on the table view and then you select um, keyboard dismiss on drag uh, rerun this so I'll just do hello world and if you drag that you can click retrieve data and yeah there we go so we just got two pieces of data sorry this video was quite long but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye